So here's another nice example of an entity that can be diagnosed very readily on MR, provided that you use the right uh, uh, right protocol options. Now, I'll tell you, without showing you any CT images, that this was a mass that was considered indeterminate on a CT scan. It was hypervascular, looked pretty homogeneous. We thought maybe that it was an FNH, but we weren't entirely comfortable in making that diagnosis with confidence. Now, notice on these, post on these MR images that the mass is iso-intense to perhaps minimally hyper-intense on T2-weighted images. On T1, it is subtly hypo-intense. It does show some restricted diffusion. It's showing avid homogeneous hypervascularity in the arterial phase, looks relatively iso-intense on a venous and delayed phase, but most importantly, notice that we gave a unique contrast agent. We gave an hepatobiliary contrast agent known as EOVIST, and notice on the delayed 30-minute EOVIST hepatobiliary phase that the lesion avidly takes up the contrast agent. So this is, by definition, going to be considered an FNH. Now, FNH is because they have all of the different constituents of the liver, hepatocytes, bile ducts, kupfer cells. They will take up this contrast agent on the delayed hepatobiliary phase, unlike other entities that you'd worry about. A metastasis or an adenoma would all look hypo-intense on that delayed phase, whereas an FNH is going to take up the contrast, and in this case, looks subtly hyper-intense to the surrounding liver parenchyma. So this is a classic FNH on an EOVIS scan.